Let's approximate the square root of 25.1 using a linearization of the function, the square root of x plus 10, at the a value 15. Now, something that might be important to point out right off the bat here is that when x is 15.1, you'll notice that f of 15.1 is the square root of 25.1 which is the exact value that we're trying to approximate with this problem. Let's keep that in mind uh, when we're finishing this problem up at the end. But we are given specific instructions to find the linearization of this function at a equals 15. Let's do it. We might point out before taking a derivative that the function f of x can be written as x plus 10 to the 1 half power. That might make things a little bit easier when we're differentiating. We can use the power rule. And we would have to use the chain rule as well, but the chain rule says we have to multiply by the derivative of x plus 10, and that is just 1. So let's plug in the given a value, and let's simplify this thing a little bit. The negative power here says that we have to bring this term down to the denominator. Uh, obviously, 15 plus 10 is 25, so we can write it like this. 25 to the 1 half power is just the square root of 25, which is 5, and we get 1 tenth. That there is the slope of the tangent line that we'll be using for this linearization, and we'll be plugging it in right here in a minute. We also need f of 15. That is simpler. It's just the square root of 25, which is just 5. And we'll be plugging that value in to our linearization right here in just a second. Let's do it. So we plugged in everything that we know right here, and I'm running out of space, so I'm going to simplify all of this in one step. I'm getting that our linear approximation is 1 tenth x plus 35 tenths, which can be reduced, but I'm just going to leave it like that. Now, the point of this linearization, what we're saying now is that this line approximates the original given function when a, or our x value, is near 15. So I wrote that down right here, and this is important because if we want to find the square root of 25.1, what we'd have to do with this formula is plug in an x value of 15.1. That's what we said when we started this video. So if we want to approximate that value, we can plug x equals 15.1 into our linearization, and that'll give us the approximation we need. The notation for that is we're finding L of 15.1. So I plugged x equals 15.1 into our linear approximation. I'm gonna to switch to decimals here. We get 1.51 plus 3.5, and that turns out to be 5.01. So using a line, we have approximated the value of the square root of 25.1, and we've gotten an answer of 5.01. Okay, I just added a note up here that this linear approximation is really only close to this function for x values that are near 15. And also, we can plug the square root of 25.1 into our calculators to check this answer. And I'm getting approximately 5.009990. So our approximation of 5.01 was pretty good. Okay, I think that that's it for this problem.